Hello, I'm live, and uh, the camera has to be adjusted. <laughs> I was dusting earlier. I was dusting this, and I said, oh, solved it. Now, it was really off after I adjusted it uh, on intentionally. Well, uh, today, we have two brands. From Sazerac, it's like we can't get out. It's like we can't escape from this world of Sazerac. Uh, we have from two. 1956 skull dry white rum this is for wednesday this is the wednesday examination he said but it's tuesday i know <laughs> i'm not gonna have time to do it i mean i could do it wednesday but uh it's like what's the point of doing an examination of taste channels when you're rushed and you can't concentrate and you can't relax and it's no fun like the whole purpose of it is when it some people say reviewing beer it's not about having fun or in this case, rum. Yeah, well, it might not be for you because maybe drinking alcohol is your religion. But to me, it's just a hobby and it's not a particularly important hobby. It's enjoyable. It's interesting. It's not that important. If you think it is, this is probably the wrong channel to watch. All right. Uh, I will answer the comments later. I was at the store today shopping, buying stuff, and then obviously. And then uh, working in the yard, I'm probably going to probably going to go out and work in the yard later. I had to clean this house, do a lot of dry dusting and stuff. Hold on. I forgot the glasses. Um, got something heating in the toaster oven and uh when that when that thing goes ding i'm gonna get off the air i got this spinach salad right here <laughs> i put some sauerkraut polish polish oh yeah polish sauerkraut not that plastic stuff and i've got some uh spicy dressing some fried onions and an olive pimento stuffed olive Gotta eat something. Um, hello, Ronald. How are you? Says Maxwell. Hello, Maxwell. Good to see you over there in the Russian Federation. You see. So, um, but I'm going to answer the comments. I notice a lot of people make comments from the last 24 hours. I always answer comments. I can't stand people on YouTube video reviewers that don't have time for the little people that watch their videos. Can't answer comments. Uh, I don't do that. I don't care who it is. I'm going to answer a comment. I mean, if it's troll comments, stuff like that, like you're stupid, die. You know, you don't answer that. That's just idiocy. But I mean, real comments. And 95% of what I get is actual comments from people saying, like, oh, I've had that skull rum. It's this and that. The whole reason I started the review channel is to talk to people about it because people in my personal life, friends and family generally have no interest in this. I mean, they'll drink, but that's it. And I'd be like, you know, Skull came out in 1956 and they'd be like, oh, OK. And they're looking away like, what a weirdo. OK. Uh, caliber. There's no website for either one of these products. Let's uh, face facts. Calibur Caribbean Silver Rum. <laughs> Got a palm tree, mountains, clouds, a barrel, and a clipper ship. You know, the Caribbean. It comes from the Caribbean. Where? This I do not know. From a fabulous facility, right? I don't know. It could be. I know it's bottled in Louisville, Kentucky by IWA Distilling. You say, never heard of it. I know, it doesn't exist. It's Sazerac. I think Caliber hit the market in 2004. That's what my trademark research shows. They make Caliber gin, they make Caliber spice rum, besides the silver. 
they make vodka, they make flavored vodka, they make all kind of liqueurs. Canadian blended whiskey. I'm surprised they don't make American blended whiskey and American bourbon though. That's kind of strange because it's Sazerac. You might say, don't they make Blanton's single barrel for like $60 a bottle at Buffalo Trace? Right. <laughs> they make Blanton's and then they make this. <laughs> you, know, you see that huge bottle and that beautiful plastic. You know how much it cost? This is the truth. This is not a sale price. This is an everyday price. If you have a drinking problem, don't watch. Turn it off. Because your, your problem is about to get worse. $9.96 a bottle. $9.96 for 1.75 liters. Incredible. True story. Skull. Uh, $6.99 for this liter bottle. $6.99. This is not the cheapest. I went to International Market where I bought this. Saturday. Saturday. Last week, and they had uh, Castillo, Castillo from Bacardi, Bacardi Limited. Heard of them? Bacardi, five ninety nine for a liter bottle. I mean, John Anilli says Louisiana has outrageously low prices. Stuff that Georgia would never even, it would never happen. It could not happen. It will not happen. It's an impossibility to get a liter of rum in Georgia for $5.99. He said, that cannot happen. I said, well, it's, it's common here. He says, good thing I don't live in Louisiana because I would just like go downhill quick, you know? <laughs> Scruffy says, lunchtime, liquor time, right. This has a shield with fleur-de-lis, a barrel and a castle. And two griffins. What's the purpose of this label? This I don't know. I will never know. Nice looking label though. I guess the Spanish crown or something. Hey, look. There used to be a company called J.A. Doherty's Sons Company. Not J.A. Doherty. He didn't really do much with the company from what I read. His sons made it into something. Then... Um, they got old. They both died within months of each other in 1919. I think right either before they died or right when they died, their family didn't want it. So they were like, hey, y'all want to buy this company? And then um, Barton Distilling came along and said, we'll take it. So they bought it. And then Sazerac bought Barton 10 years ago. So that completed the, the circle. If you ever eat Polish sauerkraut, I don't think you'll ever buy American sauerkraut again. Or Bavarian sauerkraut, very good. Okay, so I got this. I got the skull, skull, dry rum, dry white. This is a glass bottle, too. <clears throat> What's the Big Skull brand around here? <coughs> In Louisiana, the Big Skull brand is the vodka. Oh, any size bottle, glass or plastic. Total craziness. I've never even tried Skull vodka, but I've had other ones from the House of Sazerac, like Crown Rus. You say, oh, Crown Rus, oh, even cheaper than Skull, yeah. And I've had um, Taka, Taka 100. But the one you see in the restaurants is Crown Rus. You go to a, a nice, I mean, a nice bar, like, you know, not like, you know, Menacing Joe's Dive Bar. I mean, like Johnny Sanchez on Portrait Street. I said, look, Crown Rus. <laughs> People paying nine dollars a drink for a mixed drink and getting Crown Rust vodka. I said, hmm. the things people will do. 
like LSU, Louisiana State University Tigers are going to sell beer this year, starting again. It stopped in, in 1983 because of a lot of fights in the stands and everything. So um, they're going to sell pint cans of beer. You know they're going to pour it in the gla cup for the glass, <laughs> the cup for you. Eight dollars, and I was looking at the lineup. I said, "Wow, what a deal!" You could go buy a whole six pack for eight, uh, or a twelve pack of lager beer. A whole twelve pack of lager beer for eight bucks, eight fifty. You say, oh, no, $8, less than 8 You say, uh oh, no, I, I got to go to LSU and pay $8 for a pint can of Budweiser or Bud Light. I don't even think they have Budweiser on the list. They have it on the LSU website. You know, Michelob Ultra, um, Bud Light, of course, Coors Light, of course, Miller Light, of course. Some regular beers. And then they have premiums like Catahoula Common, but you know it ain't going to be $8. Anyway, I don't know. I don't get it. It's like, are you that big of an alcoholic that if you go to an LSU football game, you got to pay $8 for a pint can? It's like, come on, man, get a grip. Just wait. You say, but it's three hours. It's three hours and 30 minutes. I got to have my beer. Good thing you don't have a problem. But people tell me, you got the problem. You do stuff every day. Okay. True. I do every day. But if I go to that LSU game this Saturday, I'll sit there for three hours and I won't drink any beer. I'll just drink water. Mm, that olive is good. My hands won't shake. I won't get anxious. I won't get the heebie-jeebies. I'll just simply watch the game. Alcoholic couldn't do that. They're going to drink. They're going to pay. They're going to pay. That's it. They're going to pay, baby. All right. I don't even need to mix them up because I can't remember. And anyway, what's the point of mixing them up? I, I, there ain't going to be any kind of challenge. Believe me. Here's a little story. Do you want to learn something about liquor? Watch this channel. You'll learn a lot more than just one thing. But look, but look, 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 look. People will say, that's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff with different labels. All right. Well, then how come it doesn't all taste the same? You know what I'm saying? It's like with beer. They'll say it's all the same stuff with the same with different labels. How it but doesn't taste the same. And then if you look at the specifications, they don't they're not the same. Get on Sides Rack. Well, they have skull listed on their product specification, not not caliber, because technically. In, in a technical sense, it's owned by Walmart. Um, the specs don't even match brand to brand. Be different grams of fat, different calories. So I think that blows apart that idea. It's all the same stuff in different labels. Do they have some of the same stuff in different labels with some brands? Yes, we know. This is obvious. But it's not universal. And it's probably not even as common as we may first believe. But I'm going to tell you what's going to be different. The Skull Dry White is going to be very dry, meaning not sweet. Now, they got some old liquor ads I was showing from the 1950s explaining the difference between dry and sweet. Dry means it ain't sweet. Or you might hear people say it's crisp or something. Or it's sweet. Sugary, sweet, you know, sweet, aged sugar. And this is dry white. It's a white rum or clear rum, really what it is. And it's very dry. It tastes like wood, like a toothpick. And um, the sweetness does, it's there, it's made out of sugar, but the sweetness is so downplayed, so minimal. Now with the caliber, <laughs> it's a total flip side. It's a diametrically opposed, it is a diametrically opposed product. It's candy sugar. It's like candy cane, um, cotton candy. It's the sweetest thing you ever had in your life. Why did Walmart tell Sazerac, make us a super sweet Rum. I don't know. Maybe Walmart says, uh, well, you got to consider who shops at our stores. It's pe people come in here and they buy a high, they buy Hawaiian punch as they turn, as they turn juice. So if Hawaiian punch is your turn juice, 
then you're going to think something exotically sweet like this, outrageously sweet, is going to be quality. Other people would be outraged. They would say this is like something you would get at a at a uh, at a state fair. It's like a joke. Okay, so let's let's do this challenge, so called, because that's what it is. It ain't a real challenge. It's more like an expose of the two products. That's the skull dry white. It's woody. It's dry. It there's some charred oak, in very minimal subdued flavor. It's actually a quite a quite a fine rum. You may you may not believe that six ninety nine a liter. I can guarantee it is. It's so woody and charcoal. It's I don't know what they do down there in the west. <laughs> what island is this from? Bottled in Owensboro, Kentucky. I think that's Glenmore, another Sazerac acquisition. Oh, I don't know where it's from. Probably, I don't know where it could be. It could be Montserrat, St. Eustatius, uh, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. I don't know. Where do I go? Who do I turn to? I don't know where it's from. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Martin, St. Martin. So distinctive. You'd never mix it up. It's spicy even. Spicy. No, it has no spices. Okay, now let's look at this concoction, this confectionery item. I swear you could take this rum and put it in that machine. It would make cotton candy. And all the children would be drunk. All the churn and be drunk. <laughs> oh, oh. That is the most sugary thing in the world. It does have charred oak, though. It does have an oak presence. How long is it aged? How many years? You know it's not years. If it's months, we lucky. But golly, this stuff is so sugary. Ah, oh, it is unbelievable. I can't even describe it. It's like some, it even has like lime in it. Oh, it's not bad. You can't say it's bad. You say, no, 9.96 or 1.75 liter, it's bad. No, it isn't bad. I can't get over it. It's bizarre. It is really bizarre. All right. <laughs> Taste time for what that's worth. <clears throat> that is so woody. If you're into wood, like people like bourbon because it's charred wood and all that. It is really that. It's charred white, white oak. I mean, it's probably aged nine months, something like that. But You do pick up the oak. It's, it's no joke. Um, if I was looking to buy a cheap rum, and I might be looking to, that would be one of the recommended choices in my booklet. I think this could really fool a lot of people. Like you could give somebody this and make them think it's some like real expensive white rum. And then they would be talking about it does have a complex, subtle, it has a, a luxurious quality, a sensuous quality, and it'd be going on, on and on. And you'd say, what do you think it is? Oh, I think it's Mount Gay White Rum, which is only available in six states. And you have to wait in line on Monday, the first Monday in January. It's so rare. It's $83 a bottle or whatever. And you'd say, yeah. And then you tell them, well, this is skull dry white. And they'd say, oh, well, <laughs> I was just kidding. I knew something was wrong with it. Had a lot of a lot of faults, many faults. And then you'd say, yeah, sure. All right. Um, I don't even know why I made labels. It was so silly to make a label. It's, 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 it's not possible. Okay. It is not possible. You know, you could confuse Jack Daniels with some other product, bourbon. Uh, you know, it probably wouldn't happen, but it could happen. But this, there's no way. Uh-oh, there's the bell. I got to get off. There's no way. This is so. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. You can taste water, believe it or not. You see mountain spring water from Jamaica could be. 
or Haiti or St. Lucia. I don't know where. It's clean, though. It is clean. It's strange. Hey, clean. Um, where's the puppy? It's um, <laughs> it's so bizarre that the sugar sweetness is insanity. If you want to have a mad experience, like a really crazy experience, and uh, like blow people's mind, hey, I'm gonna blow your mind, man. <laughs> I'm gonna blow your mind, man. Well, you could buy this uh, caliber. But if you show them the bottle, it'll be like, I saw that at Walmart. That's trash. You know, they'll, you'll cloud their, um, their perception of it. Just don't let them know what it is. Say, you want to try something really sweet? Now, a lot of people have a sweet tooth. We know this. A lot of people have a sweet tooth. They have a secret addiction to candy, and they won't even admit it. They'll say, oh, I'm on the paleo diet. But then you catch them in the store. What are you buying? Oh, uh, I was getting that for a friend. What are you looking at? Don't judge me. Uh, I'm not judging. I was asking what you were buying. Okay, so um, <laughs> there's even almost like a strawberry taste. Like, what is that strawberry drink? Um, I don't know. It's like a soft drink. Um, is it knee high or um, one of those? It's crazy like that. Um, you could just really fool people. It tastes like it goes on a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> it, it actually, now I'm not kidding. You could, I think you could take this rum and use it for strawberry shortcake, and it would make a very interesting uh, dessert. Or put it in some kind of coffee or cocoa. Oh, it's, it's um, shock. It's probably the most shocking. Well, no, that would be Ron Rio in a bad way. The most shocking rum I've ever had. The Ron Rio is literally a nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. The horror. The horror. But um but this is no nightmare. You say what's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's so bizarre. You're so shocked and stunned by it, you can't even get around to finding deficits on it. Uh, crazy, man. Crazy. So who's the winner? Oh, uh, um, there can be no winner or loser in this contest because they're so polar opposites. Super sweet. The most sweetest rum in the world. And super dry. So dry. Oh, so very dry. The most driest rum in a world. And so, um, I don't know. It's like, what, what do you prefer to drink? You say, oh, I'm at mid-range. Not too sweet, not too dry. Well, you can mix them 50-50. There you go. You got it. You got it. Pierre S. says, Kurtz. You have a right to kill me. You do not. You have no right to judge me. No right to judge me. It was like heaven. They come down to earth in the form of gardenias. Um, anyway, I don't know if this is heaven coming down to earth in the form of gardenias, but uh, it's very interesting. Now, next. You say, what's next? What's next, man? Oh, man. I'll tell you what's next. Skull, dry white. And there's no video reviews aside from mine, so if we need to get that, that train train kept a rolling all night long. We need to get the train rolling and get, we need to get people East Coast, West Coast, Middle Coast, Gulf Coast, Mid-America, Hawaii, Alaska, all points in between to get on the stick and start reviewing Skull, Dry, White, and Caliber, Silver, Caribbean, Rum. Enough's enough. It's time to do it. I want to see some reviews out there. We got Skull versus Aristocrat coming up. Hmm. Well, Aristocrat is not nearly as dry. But it does have some interesting complexities from Heaven Hill, who acquired, obviously, um, another family-owned company. What's that called? Um, 
I can't remember, but it starts with a G. Um, husband and wife team, true story. Um, Grosskuth, Grosskuth, Grosskuth Distilling, Aristocrat. Fascinating product. Yeah, six ninety nine for a liter. Hard to believe. America, America, baby. <laughs> you can buy, you can buy liquor in America for five ninety nine a liter. Well, thanks for watching this video production. I gotta go eat lunch, people. The salad was fabulous. Spinach salad. Don't underestimate raw spinach. Never let yourself be caught doing that.